and good morning to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai babu sankara yesterday the honorable supreme court of india three judges bench they have set aside the judgment of bombay high court nagpur bench which is popularly called as skin to skin judgment the supreme court clearly held that section 7 of the pokso act deals with the intention if there is intention so groping will become the so called uh, aggravated sexual assault under section a punishable under section 8 of the pokso act when this judgment has come in february 2020 on 5th of february 2020 all the elite most of the elite felt bad and thought that it is a perverse judgment that too by a woman judge pushpa ganedi wala she said that unless there is skin to skin contact we cannot say that there is a physical touch so while disposing the appeal against the conviction of the trial court bombay high court pushpa ganedwala she has uh, acquitted the person that is the satish under section 8 of the pokso act but of course she upheld the conviction under section 354 of the indian penal code 354 and 341 that is outraging the modesty and wrongfully confine her now it is totally set aside at the time lot of commotion was there lot of criticism was there even the national uh, women commission they filed a case they went in appeal uh, on behalf of maharashtra state and attorney general he filed an affidavit so now supreme court has clarified that under section 7 of the pokso act sexual intention is more necessary if there is intention then even though there is no skin to skin contact the offense is attracted under section 8 of the pokso act this is briefly the summary now you can read the cases attorney general of india attorney general of india versus satish kumar live law 2021 sc 656 criminal appeal number 1410 by 2001 decided on 18th november 2021 right Uh, let us go to previous issue and then we'll come back as far as the facts of the case are concerned this happened in the year 2016 i think on 14th 12 2016 the accused satish lured the victim who is a girl of age about 7 uh, or 8 years when she was going for a goa when she was uh, going to uh, buy some fruits so he said that uh, the goa is available with him and he took her to his uh, uh, flat or apartment there uh, actually he undressed her and he touched her. actually he tried to touch her uh, uh, private parts she cried aloud but somebody i think he heard the movement of some persons therefore he kept her inside uh, locked from the outside and came out at that time the mother was searching for the girl and even the mother asked him as to where his daughter was because uh, some of the onlookers on the street on the area in the area they told that uh, this man uh, uh, has uh, taken her to his apartment or the girl followed him to his apartment and he said they know the girl is not there but she heard some sounds of women therefore she went to the house she bolted open the doors and she found the daughter crying later the entire incident came to so the daughter informed that uh, this accused pressed her breast and tried to remove her salwar so and uh, when she was, uh, when she was crying he pressed her uh, or he uh, yeah, he pressed her mouth also and then some people are coming he came out and uh, instead so now in this connection so the police registered uh, a case in crime number 28 by 2016 under section 8 of the pokso act railway 340 354 and 342 okay wrongful uh, confinement uh, wrongful confinement in house right 
so he was arrested then uh, the trial court found him guilty under pox act as well as 354 and they awarded two year sentence when the matter came for appeal before the bombay high court nagpur bench so section 7 a uh, section 8 of the pox act has been totally acquitted because in the opinion of the judge pushpa there should be some skin to skin contact without skin to skin contact we cannot say that uh, it is a sexual sexual assault so this has been subjected to a lot of criticism ultimately these people filed yesterday three judges bench just you you lalit ravindra bhat and bela trivedi so they have given a common judgment holding that the skin to skin contact case is totally waived off they just they set aside the judgment and held that according to section 7 sexual intention is a necessary intention is more important so if you go to interpret in this uh, dep- depriving manner definitely you are doing injustice to the case also so the purpose the very object of uh, enforcing the pocso act is to protect the children from the sexual uh, abuse so it is uh, the touching <coughs> if the touching of the sexual part uh, of any body with uh, uh, suppose for example with condom with gloves uh, or with cloth etc if it is uh, interpreted in a narrow way definitely it will be detrimental to the situation so don't go so that's why inference or we call it as normal interpretation interpretation should be wide enough interpretation should be for the public justice not for in a narrow manner right so previously since the court held that no skin to skin contact was not there so it would not attract section 7 so it is the high court bombay high court held for strict proof because you are going to convict the accused for that definitely strict proof and serious allegations but they were not proved because there was no physical touch so even judge justice bela trivedi she has gone to the extent of defining touch and physical contact even though normally we use them interchangeably touch means to come into contact with another person physical contact that is direct or is indirect or indirect contact between two individuals whenever so intention is more important as per section 7 therefore section 8 is the yeah, pox act is attracted once again is uh, so the judgment given by the bombay high court is uh, set aside so section 7 says please remember whoever with sexual intent touches the vagina breast of a child is uh, sent to com- is said to commit sexual assault whether he touched it or not is the main question so since there was no skin to skin contact when there was no skin to skin contact he pressed her breast of course they she was wearing that uh, upper cloth that is the main difference so now very good judgment supreme court has clarified that skin to skin contact is not necessary and definitely we can say that is a perverse judgment anyway supreme court has clearly clarified now that judgment given by the bombay high court is set aside please read the newspapers today definitely they would cover this case. this is a sensational case at that particular time please read it and enhance your legal knowledge i think today it will come in the press thank you